Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to another update, short term update from RRG Research. I'm recording this on Tuesday the 29th of August for publication on the 30th of August. My name is Trevor Neal and I'm recording this in London. Today we're going to look at uh, stock indices again, um, look at the, uh, the NASDAQ, the S&P, the Dow, and we'll also look at the DAX and the FTSE as follow-up from the last session. Now, the best place to start, of course, with a, is with a relative rotation graph. This is a daily RRG of major stock indices versus, in the crosshair here, the MSCI world. So if you like, this is the how the uh, major stock indices are doing versus the average of major stock indices. So having on the right of 100 here is in a relative uptrend compared to the MSCI world and everything to the left is is not in a relative uptrend and don't forget you know if stock markets generally are going down and you have things on the right they may be going down as well but less than the benchmark and the things on the left and that gives them our performance so we're not looking at the absolute performance in this case if we were looking at cash then that would be the case but here we're looking at them versus each other now there is something which is very clear when we look at this there's only one index which is not heading south southerly or westerly so southerly means with declining momentum relative momentum westerly means um, declining ratio versus the MSCI world so even these ones here like the Dow Jones um, it's coming around with quite a long tail and, in, and moving from the leading quadrant to the weakening quadrant, swinging around there. But on its own, we've got the NASDAQ. And the NASDAQ is pointing northeasterly, not a long tail, but it is uh, northeasterly. Probably in the next uh, day or two, it will cross over that 100 line and join those in the leading quadrant, which may have moved into the weakening quadrant. So we've got the European stock indices here, we've got the S&P here, um, we've got the, the Dow here, we've got the Russell right over here, uh, the poor old FTSE down in here, still um, <laughs> the, the um, nobody's friend, um, and the, others, the European, other European stock indices are up in the leading quadrant at the moment. Now, when I last spoke and gave, uh, we were talking about the short term, um, it was the day NVIDIA gave its res tremendous results. And there was the performance there. Um, I was looking for a sell opportunity, um, uh, waiting for the NVIDIA results that came out better than people had hoped. And it, it was marked up but by the end of the session. Um, I said if we get weakness, um, it had uh, uh, sold off really hard. And uh, we sold off... Um, and down to the downtrend line here, which was is a support level. You know, when you break a uh, downtrend line, um, uh, break up through it, then when you touch it from the other side, where it was resistance, it becomes support. This was rather perfect. Actually, one for your album, look at this. One, two, three, break, retest, big bounce on the NVIDIA results, total collapse, but stopping, um, here at uh, 14,700 and bouncing strongly from there. Below you can see we've got the MACD. It's blasting up. The MACD is separating from its signal line. This tells us we have, we've got strong momentum in the market and it's approaching uh, minor resistance. I would say it's minor resistance. Um, even by the time you read this, we may be through this 15,360. The next minor resistance at 15,526. And then the next major resistance is at 15,700. Uh, it's probably 15,800 really is where the major resistance is. So we've got strong um, interme um, intermediate long-term measurement here. The RSI is very is very strong indeed as well. Um, big 
powerful push to a very high reading at the moment looking over very slightly um, there if it were to come down uh, um, I think that it would settle at this support point here 15,200 and 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 uh, compose itself and move on up this one looks bullish but the question is you know is it is very hard to participate into the strength you know when we were looking the last time about getting short of it and um, we could um, use the uh, weakness as an entry and the high as a, as, as a protective level um, but this is not the case here so we'll come back to this again we have a similar picture here on the hourly chart of the S&P um, here's the video results here has is the weakness it didn't actually move that as strongly um, as the Nasdaq did um, reverse sharply came down to perfectly to support at uh, 4360 um, and held there and reversed very sharply now it's gone through the Nvidia high if I call it that at uh, 4450 and to the next resistance level which is a minus resistance level which is uh, the level we're at 4490 uh, 4, um, as we speak um, the the MACD is positive and the gap is widening. The RSI is pushing up and just hooking very slightly at this very high reading, very strong reading here. So we're on. We could be ready to burst through uh, for another uh, leg up to uh, 4,520, and just above it we've got resistance, not strong at 4,540, but the real sort of. Magnet is the 4,600 high uh, from uh, July. So again, looking good here, lots of momentum. It's positive, it's high, it's vulnerable. But uh, even if it has a pullback, uh, again, I think that this would be um, supported at 4,450 and then advance more. We're looking at the Dow chart, Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, hourly chart. And you see this has really not got the vigour of uh, the Nasdaq and the S&P. It uh, came down, um, it was supported at, not at uh, one of the uh, chart levels, but it was supported at 34,080. Bounce took out this high here, this high here, these highs in here um, at uh, 34,500 and it's pushing forward. Now look at the MACD here, very different from what we've seen before where they were strong and up here and the gap widening here. It's just cross early stages in here. Also the RSI, it's not up here and hooking down, no quite the opposite, it's pushing up rather strongly. So this may well uh, present an opportunity, although it's not a great looking picture on the RRG chart from a a point of view of trying to construct a plan and, and uh, for your strategy this one might be uh, present better opportunity I'll come back to it in the end the uh, DAX is moving forward um, it was my least favorite uh, um, when we spoke uh, when I spoke last um, it's the uh, MACD here very positive indeed uh, we have broken a minor resistance level at 15,800 uh, pushed through a minor resistance at 15,890 and then the next resistance level uh, which isn't strong resistance level is at 16,000 then we would be targeting 16,500 the top the previous top um, the RSI is uh, strong steady but not excessive um, so this has also got some attractions on the upside and there could be something here with, with protection just below this low. But I'll come back to that in, uh, in a moment. After the close on Tuesday, let's have a look at which of these presents the best trading opportunity. Maybe not the best investment, but the best trading opportunity currently. Starting with the NASDAQ, uh, we know from the ROG graph that this one is the one that best offers the best um, investment opportunity. It is the one, the one, the only one in of the major uh, indexes which is heading in a northeasterly direction, not a southwesterly direction, like everything else compared to the MSCI world. So where did we end? We ended at 
precisely at uh, the resistance level of 15,360, um, uh, just losing a little bit of momentum there at, at the end of the day. Um, now, it, if this loss of momentum is nothing more than profit taking at the end of the day, um, and then uh, we, we could have an opportunity of a dip. And if the dip were to extend back to what I'm calling the, the NVIDIA high, um, 15,268 and hold and start to turn up again, then we have an opportunity here. But not now. This market is shot ahead. Really, you should be long. Intermediate term swing traders should be long in here. Um, we've now got from after the long term, this downtrend line here, the trend has reversed now. We have an ABC movement in progress here possibly taking us um, soon to the high up at uh, just below 15,800. So it's, uh, that's looking the strongest, but at the moment uh, it doesn't give us a good setup for a trade. The S&P really uh, very much the same. Um, here though we haven't got loss of momentum at the end of the session. We had increasing momentum at the end of the session indicating that we will uh, tackle these levels which aren't in themselves very uh, strong resistance level 4522 and 4536 and the, it's got its eye on uh, the high 4600 there. It's on its way, it's got momentum, it's very sensitive, stochastic oscillator is still pointing up here and uh, this one of the two is less likely to have um, a little bit of initial pullback but even the Nasdaq it doesn't look as though there'll be much pullback opportunity. You should be already long from in here once it dipped and <coughs> failed to make a new low continuing the downward passion pattern and then uh, turning up so ideally belong uh, really around here. Dow different picture entirely here. Um, we uh, yes we, we're in the mid we're mid move here, um, so it's got more power behind it. But um, we're close to support here, so it's possible that we're going to get a tra trade trade um, opportunity here. If we have any weakness, it should be well supported, thirty four thousand six hundred. There is some um, resistance, substantial resistance, whereas before in the Nasdaq and the S and P the resistances were uh, light here. They're quite heavy from 35,600, sorry, the, the resistance starting at 35,000. So um, if we pull back, uh, it should be supported here, um, but it is possible, given the high level of momentum, that it's not going to pull back. So this is not ideal. You should already uh, be long of this. Um, now let's move to the FTSE. Now the FTSE was the one that we were bullish of uh, previously and so you may well be long of it already. Um, the, the great thing is that we've pushed through the <coughs> Uh, the previous support level, now resistance level 7,400, that opens up for an attack on the high um, here at 7,600. Now this one has had an, a little interruption and so um, we could, if we get a steady opening today, which we probably will, um, then, uh, then uh, this would indicate a can follow through on this and then we've got a pretty obvious place for a stop. A protective order which would be below the support here and I would say below that hourly bar there so something like uh, 7418 there for protection and that gives you a very nice probably four to one risk reward ratio up to the resistance at this high which isn't actually that strong so this is um, of what the opportunities, the plans to make at the moment, my favourite. We should cover the DAX. The DAX is my second favourite. Um, so um, we've got higher lows in place here. We're pushing forward. Um, resistance is getting lighter as we go up. Um, uh, then we've got a, um, a resistance at 16,063. But if that breaks and that resistance is not strong, it makes it gives a clear run from uh, due to due to the rapid fall from 16,500 uh, there. So potentially this could be more near the beginning of a move than the others. Um, and uh, so any, uh, you know, brave, the brave might be getting long, uh, looking to enter um, round current levels um, with a stop loss either below this line or ideally here. So it, it, below this low here, the 15,800, so 15,000, 
um, 792 would be the sort of order I would place in here. Um, and that would give you that risk and you'd be then looking for the high. But for a shorter term uh, move, then I think uh, again, if you were long here, you could place the protective stop uh, below the um, uh, support line here now. It's now support line at uh, 15,882, looking for a t a, an attack on this, uh, which may well um, uh, give way relatively easy, easily because it's not a strong resistance. So my two preferences, although not on the RRG chart, are uh, the FTSE and the DAX. And uh, for an investment, of course, it still remains uh, the NASDAQ. I thank you all very much indeed for listening. This has been Trevor Neal of, um, of RG Research. I wish you a great day. May the trend be with you.